Okay, a very, very wonderful day for us, for us all. One day I was moving somewhere. I met a gentleman called Brian Kayongo. This is what he said. If you want to be rich, move with people and work with people. But if you want to be poor, work alone. This is the power of networking. The reason as to why I am here in the States is to work with Brian Kayongo and see that I achieve my dream. However, I know you also have questions. Who is Brian Kayongo? My name is Zambari Blasio Mkasa. I am a program show host in Uganda. I am a senior news anchor when it comes to news. I am the president of Church of Uganda Media Association. I hate the Department of News in Church of Uganda. I also have some other good things that I do in Uganda. However, today I'm here to speak about Brian Kayongo. Brian Kayongo. Yes. You know, I'm honored Me too. just to be close to you. And uh, I want to say thank you for helping others yes. also know their worth. Sometimes we die without knowing the worth that we have in this world. Yes. Who is Brian Kayongo? Brian Kayongo is a young man uh, who grew up from Uganda, Kampala. Wonderful. Uh, on the streets of Kampala, surviving like other Ugandans. You know, uh, by God's grace, I was able to come to America, but all my foundation of childhood started from Uganda. Started from Uganda. You, you, you amaze me. We were all <laughs> together in Uganda. Where did you pick the idea of like leaving Uganda to the U.S.? Uh, it started from my parents. My parents wanted me after college, uh, high school, which is high school in, the, uh, in, uh, in Uganda. Mm. I was in Saroma Christian High, finished my studies from there, senior four. Then I came to the U.S. Okay. So I joined my father, was already here in the U.S. But two principles of my father, he wanted me to become a doctor. A doctor. I remember when I was reading <laughs> your book of uh, Enterprising Entrepreneur. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, but that was not my vision of life. Uh, started, I was in school for almost like a year. My dad didn't know what I was even studying for until sometime when he was like, hey, what course are you even exactly uh, doing? Are you doing? Because <laughs> for his case, he was comfortably seated somewhere. Definitely. Because he knew you cannot like forego what he told you. Definitely. Good. So mm -hmm. uh, then when, when he found out, I told him that I'm doing accounting and computer information system. And um, so I love what I'm doing. And I hope you can understand it. I know I didn't follow what you wanted me to do. Because by the time when I got here, my father had got like, you know these big textbooks for like <laughs> nursing books. I'm like, eh, jeez. <laughs> he was preparing you for the next step. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, but cut it short is that uh, my father told, I explained to him, you know what? I will not disappoint you if you give me an opportunity choice to make sure that I move forward with finance and computer, computer information system. I moved forward with that, I accepted, and... How, how did you manage to convince? You know, our parents sometimes yeah. when you, you, like you change from what you wanted you to achieve, sometimes you get issues and whatever. How did you manage to... Uh, one thing which I thank God is that uh, my parents, me and them, we are best friends of each other. Oh, yeah. That is important You to, talk, yeah. you discuss. We discuss, we, I explain myself out to them, I, I elaborate to them why I'm making that decision, and we, I, I give them my advantages and my, the, and my disadvantages mm. about it, and then we the, reach the, a the, conclusion together. You know, Kayongo Brian, you always gives me a lot of questions in my head. Yes, please. You're still young, at, like, like me. Yeah. And, uh, but you're making things in a way that I cannot even explain to these people <laughs> that are seeing us. So apart from... You joy doing finance and accounting. Yes, please. How did you manage to settle in here, despite the fact that you had parents, yeah. but you are prospering better than even your parents? How did you manage to do it? Uh, the first thing is that, uh, you know, when we are growing up, we have so many distractions of life. I, I had to make sacrifices and commitments. Good. As any other person, like in my teenager life, on my 20 years, because for me, I, I had... Mission by the time I turn 25, I need to be a multimillionaire in dollars. What did you say? 25. Because I've, I saw 
kids in college where I went, and they are certain years, and they are talking about me on of dollars. And I'm like, why? Why not me? The reason that's why I am laughing, <laughs> I am remembering one day when I was reading somewhere, and say, sir, someone said, African life starts at 50. And then we take that one, it's like, it's okay, we'll get the money. Yeah. Even if it is in 50, but it's okay. But for you, by the yeah. time you made 20 years, yes. you read this, you, 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 you were seeing yourself somewhere. Yes. And I, I had put that target and I said, what, you know, Saturdays are for the week. Okay. Because it's a weekend. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you get what I'm saying? Because Saturdays are for the week. Because, oh, okay. And it's a weekend. So people go to bars, people go out, people go have fun. And I realized I saw... Most of the lives which, we, when I just got here, like, we used to have fun a little bit with my friends, but, like, every Saturday you have issues, cut tire, this and this. Like, by the time you go back home, like, it's, like, almost, like, 4 a.m. in the morning, and you're like, my God, I wasted my whole night just because I want to go out and have a blast? No. I said, what is my major purpose of life? I don't know whether you're enjoying this interview, but the reason that's why I am inviting Brian Kayongo is one. Yes. Concept real estate yeah. is another venture that we need to understand. How did you manage to start something into real estate? And it is amazing. You're not doing it in Uganda. Yeah. You're doing it in the States. Definitely. When I come to state, I only know a few items here. Yeah. How did you manage to put all items together and start such a big company that is dealing in real estate? Uh, I'll tell you, I started this company one principle, patience and consistency which so many people don't want to have in life. I make sure that if I'm going to enter into a certain industry, I'm not going to compete with anyone. I'm just going to be in this industry and dominate. Oh my God. Uh, you know, sorry to take you too far. Yes, please. We have a lot of things that we can think of when we come to America. Yes. Why real estate? Uh, real estate has been a dream because when I was in Uganda, my dad, he was here, but I was trying to help my mom and my dad to build our home house. And oh, yeah. I was on heading all the contractors, making sure things are paid. I used to go to MoneyGram, pick, get the money, make a budget, send to my dad every video. You know, my dad built his home using a phone video. The other guy has, and he says, no, change that block. I'm like, it's who so would that? It's so particular. It's so particular. To, to, to even the smallest, smallest thing that he could say, no, it, leave it. I, I'll tell you, you get a chance, go to him and tell him, okay, look at this video. What is missing out from this building? He will tell it to you just looking at the video. That's how, but you, if you ask all people who know us around, yeah. they will tell you that, that my dad is a guy who has built his real estate portfolio in Uganda, but just being particular is like, so I, that I think it's part of my DNA. So yeah. I got the interest so much and I said, you know, I may not be like my dad doing his portfolio in Uganda. I'm here most of the times of the year. Why don't I start something like this here? And when I spoke to him, you know, I like to ask advice from people who know better than better, me. Better. So he encouraged me to move you know, forward. Experience is the best teacher. Sometimes yes. they have things that are uh, they can as well advise us, yes. and if you you don't listen, yes. sometimes in between <laughs> there you lose, you lose. Definitely, it. and like you 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 know Zambale, you, you you've been around me for this couple of days, and you've seen my wife. Yeah. My wife, she is a key player in what I do in everything. You know, you know, you have given me another version of how we <laughs> we see things. Yes, you know, in Africa we perceive that ladies should only be left to other things. Yes, and then we don't allow them to take step in when it comes to big big responsibilities. Definitely. But I have seen you, whatever you're doing, the yeah. wife is there to advise, yes. also correct you on things that you... Because for them, they're also particular to certain items. So I don't know. So yes. the wife is key in this? Yes. And not only the wife, your dad is also key? Yeah. I, I make sure that family is important in everything which I do. But, yes, I understand. Family is important. <laughs> but real estate is quite big. Yes, for someone who came from Uganda. Mm. <laughs> because I also have the DNA from Uganda. From Uganda. <laughs> I have been coming to this uh, America. Yeah. And when I come here, the conversation is around. People talk about, you're going to be a nurse and then do yeah. this. You can take a, do a cab and also get some money. Yeah. You can, it is very, very rare yeah. finding someone who says we can start real estate in the U.S. That's true. Where did you get the energy and the guts to start? 
for my saying that uh you know when we were growing up our parents used to tell us don't don't to talk to so many strangers oh wonderful and they chase away us from strangers but it's how we audit the strangers who come into our life very very wonderful uh -huh. so for me i was lucky enough to open up a great opportunity of my life to so many strangers because like this the people who i had around me they couldn't change me so i had to be wise enough to open up an opportunity to to be open minded to meet other strangers out there because the people you know yeah they will always speak about things that you, you know. know but when but you happen to visit other people other strangers they will also be talking about things that you don't know but no, for them they, they know, know. Oh, another brilliant way of, uh, you know, getting to know things in the U.S. So that's why you see me. I I encourage all the people around me that how many people did you try to meet today as new in your life, new strangers in your life? I encourage them at least each day, meet like one or two strangers. They will change your lives. I think my wife, needs, impact my, my, your my wife needs to hear this, this decision. <laughs> and, uh, I am going to try as much as I can for her to see this. Yeah. It, it, she she's so confined in one 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 area. She's like, no no, you know you know when you talk to people, people are no people are bad. You you never you know people. We live by people. People make us who we are. I will tell you, like uh, the question you asked me, I want people to understand this. I was open minded to meet a lot of new strangers, and through those strangers, I met a group of Greek people. Greek, there's a lady. She's called Frederick. I met her. Good. And she was open-minded about real estate. She opened my mind so much, and she gave me the opportunity to teach me. You know, in life, you need to have those people who are willing to teach you. Not only teaching you to yeah. be your mentor. To be my mentor. Definitely. Someone has to mentor you to something that you don't know. Definitely. So that you use his experience for yeah. you to better yourself. That, that, that is a very... So you allowed people, new people, you allowed yeah. strangers to also be part of your life. Yes. And then whatever they shared with you, you took it as an example. An example. For you to start. Yeah. You're now into real estate. Yes. What have you achieved so far? I think real estate has opened for me an opportunity to have freedom. Like I, I can say I can be here with you on this interview and I don't worry about what is going to happen tomorrow. And I know tomorrow will be okay. That is one. That is one. Sense it, of, of peace. peace. And we are looking for sense of, of peace. peace. Whoever you're seeing looking for money, they are also looking for sense, sense of, of peace. peace. Oh, whoa, whoa. Because when you have money, yes. you can make things happen. When you have money, you can make a decision. When you have money, Add you can you have can, a direction. You can make a decision and they respect it. Yes, definitely. Uh, because we all make decisions. They will ask who has said so. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you make a decision and, and it is respected. respected. That is wonderful. And when you make money into whatever we do, you are helped to help a lot of lives. Like for me, my my vision as a person like is to help 10,000 entrepreneurs to become multimillionaires in dollars. That is our mission as Concept Real Estate. Through real estate investment, making sure they make the right proper investment. You need one deal like this to change your life. One deal like this to change your life. You don't need many. One day like this, and it will change your life around. You said what is your vision? Again? To change lives of 10,000 entrepreneurs to become multimillionaires. We want to change the lives of 10,000 entrepreneurs. 10,000 entrepreneurs <laughs> to become multimillion. Yes. Ooh, I'm also going to be part of this. Can Definitely. You be, can you be some place? We, we, <laughs> so Changing you into someone. You know, you, yeah. have, you have not been, you have been a nobody, but you want, you're going to become a somebody. Definitely. Just following your, your footsteps, and then we are, we are there to make it. A bit before we, 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 we wrap it up, because I know yeah. today we are just talking about a few things. Yeah. You're going to enjoy other things when you come to the conference. Yes. What is going to happen? I know you've organized the Kickstarter conference yes please it's about your estate so what should we expect into it oh first of all i want to tell viewer our viewers like i've been able good enough to meet so many strangers who now are going to be the good friends of mine who are going to be on stage good. this saturday to help you teach you the principles which you need to apply in your life to be successful in real estate okay so one all the procedures. Yes. All the principles. Yes. 
all the protocol corners that you need to understand when it comes Ligo. to real estate, the legal and whatever. Yes. We are going to talk about them. The and it's, 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 it's not only Kayongo is going to talk about them. We are bringing the key experts, people who are in such fields, to also talk about what you want to hear. Yes. Because I was about to ask, how did you maneuver? Like yeah. laws and whatever. You know, in Uganda, it's okay. Yeah. For example, you know, sometimes I talk about Uganda because that is my mother country and I know about it. In Uganda, it's okay. It's not about law. Ah, uh, hey. It's about who you are. Who you are. And the and family. You, Where are you coming from? They, they, they will always ask, who is that? That is the son of so and so. And hey. it's, like, it's okay. It's okay. In Uganda, it's not about so much into law and whatever. Hey. But here. Here. Things that have to Principles, be permits, and they are supposed to be straight. How did you maneuver with the permits and whatsoever? It's, uh, for example, I've worked with contractors. I've worked with uh, like uh, inspectors. I've worked with legal firms who illegally structured our deals to be able to be protected as individuals in investing in real estate. I've been able, like, when I I am purchasing a, a property, my purchase and sale is done rightly. Like uh, my inspection is done rightly so that I'm not making a wrong investment. And also, I'll tell you, by the time we buy one property, we have sniffed through more than 30 properties. And we have made sure those 30 properties are diligently reviewed through by our team. That's why for us, when we encourage people like this is a certain class of investment you should, do, you should be investing in. We have made studies in this. And we have made research and we have seen for my, uh, for my mentor, uh, Grant Cardone, he has taught me so much. Like it's important, like you also get a mentor where at the level you want to grow to. This gentleman I'm talking about, he has like 12,000 apartment units. That is one of my vision. So vision. The, the reason that's why they are doing yeah. this is to build the trust. Yes. By the time you trust concept real estate, just know that you're getting it right. That is Definitely. what I can say. Definitely. Because you're saying you by the time you buy yep. something, yep. you have sniffed into more than 30 and beyond. 30 and beyond properties. That's why some people, do you know what they have done? They have come, okay, concept real estate. Help us find the right unique property which we can invest in. We are not real estate brokers. Also, as we work with brokers who have off-market deals and those who have on-market deals, but we have they meet our standards. And those are the standards which as we follow as a company. And when you become our client, we help you step by step from you getting pre-approved, from you working with the real estate agent we work with, from you getting your loan process and you closing your property and you managing your property. Some of the people don't want to have a, the headache of managing these properties. They want to just get their cash flow and they make sure the mortgage is paid and they make sure that everything is in order. That's what we do for them. That's why we are here. That's why we're in this business. Because we have reached a level of scaling it to the next level and we have a great team which can manage a, a bigger portfolio. You've talked about mortgage and I was about to ask. Yes. <laughs> we all have issues when it comes to mortgage. <laughs> and if you want to understand and know what we call mortgage financing, you don't yeah. need to miss out in this conference. I Definitely. Think that, that is what we are going to talk about. Yes. Because yes. everyone is talking about mortgage. Mortgage, 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 mortgage. mortgage. So mortgage financing is key. Yes, definitely. You're, uh, you're, you're now letting me to remember my pastor. You know, my pastor, uh, yeah. when we were talking about uh, uh, financial breakthrough. Yes. We were praying, as you know, praying, oh, financial stability. And yeah. financial, a lot of people, because people are praying, and it's okay. When you pray, it's okay. Yeah. But for him, he was sober enough and said, yeah. but when we are talking about financial breakthrough, yeah. please leave God alone. Mm. Financial breakthrough is about having a product Yes. And having a service. Yes. Make the two known to the public. Then you'll have the money. money. What product do you have? Yeah. And what service are you giving out? Yeah. If we make them known to the public, then you're going to be successful. I will add on this. Yes. Jim Rohn said, Yes. You are paid to the value you bring to the marketplace. Wonderful. We are, you're paying us because we are adding value. Yes. To the market. Our service is simple. When you trust Concept to real estate. We do all the services that you expect yes. to. And the product we deal in is real estate. estate. And we are now telling you, please come into the conference and see other things that we are going to explain. It is just a Kickstarter. Yeah. But you need to keep on coming. Coming. So that you can know the basics and the changes that are happening here and there. Real estate changes every day. It's yes, dynamics. Because, because you're, you're not going to say, you know, I was there last year. Yeah. And then it's, <laughs> it's now over. No, no, no. no. Things keep on changing. This yeah. is a Kickstarter. 
and it's going to be fun. Let me take you through of what we are going to do. On Friday, the 7th evening. of April 2023, we are going to do to be so much into practical. Yes. We want to take you through of the things that we have uh, invested into so that you can also see and then get questions. And then Saturday on the 8th of April 2023, then we shall be able to meet a few people and other techn uh, technical people that you need to meet, most especially those that are in too low and whatever, to explain the things that you want to know about Rio Estate. Estate. It is my humble prayer to convince you, please, to come. Not even to convince you, to tell you to come and be part of this journey of you knowing what we call Rio Estate. And it's the reason that's why I also had to come in to make sure you also attend this conference. Any last word that you can tell the public or the people who are now watching us? I'll tell the public, don't miss this opportunity. We are here to work together with you. We are here to help you, encourage you, make the right investment of your lifetime. The investment which you make in real estate, it has to be done right so that you don't live to regret the investment you have done. Well. I invite you to the Concept Kickstarter 2023 Friday and Saturday, be there and be there. Martin Luther King Jr., this is what he said in the end. We shall remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. I have got a lot of friends here. Make sure you don't miss out. I want to see you here because the reason why I am here is to also see that you prosper. May God bless you.